Hi children! We've been doing a lot of travelling recently, haven't we? We've been going back to the beginning in the book of Genesis. We've seen the beginning of the whole world when God created everything. Then we saw the beginning of consequences. Adam and Eve disobeyed God and things turned pretty bad. Last time we saw a little bit of hope. But now, moving on to chapters 6 to 8, and things are turning really, really awful. The, the consequences of sin mean that people are saying, me first, God last. Um, the, the Bible says that the hearts of all the people were completely evil all the time. And, and we know that's bad news because sin leads to death. So God sent huge floods to flood the whole earth and destroy all the people. And these floods covered the earth for 150 days. Now Alex thinks he's pretty good at holding his breath. But nobody's that good. In fact, the Bible says that everything on earth died. All the birds, the animals, the people, the plants, everything. <laughs> But hang on a second, Beth. Listen to verse 23 of chapter 7. It says, So God destroyed from the earth every living thing that was on the land. This was every man, animal, crawling thing, and bird of the sky. Just like I said. Yeah, but, but listen to this. It says, all that was left was Noah and what was with him in the boat. See, God didn't just send a flood. He also sent a rescue. And today we're looking at the beginning of rescue. Oh, rescue. Have you ever been rescued? I was rescued once. My dad took me to the swimming pool to learn how to swim. But I accidentally fell in. I couldn't swim and I fell into a swimming pool. What a disaster. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was really, really scared, but my dad jumped in and rescued me. Wow, phew. Well, in, in Genesis here, we see the beginning of rescue. God tells Noah to build a massive boat. Sometimes we, we call it an ark. It would have looked something like this. And God gave Noah very specific instructions about how to make it and who to put in it. The ark is God's remarkable rescue. Do you see what I did there? Uh, and Noah trusted God's rescue. Chapter 6 verse 9 says, Noah walked faithfully with God. Just like Enoch, Noah walked faithfully with God and it teaches us that faith leads to life. Wow, that's so cool that Noah rescued himself from the flood. No, 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 no. No, Beth, you, you've got it all wrong. Noah didn't rescue himself. It, who suggested building the ark? God. Y yeah, and who gave the specific instructions? God. Yeah, and who decided exactly which people and animals should be rescued on it? God. Yeah, God did. Do you, do you see? This is God's remarkable rescue. And whilst God provided an ark to rescue Noah, God provided an even bigger and better way to rescue us. Because when Jesus died on the cross, he did that so that we can be rescued from death. So if the ark was God's rescue for Noah, 
then the cross is God's rescue for us. Exactly. That's amazing. Maybe this week you can read the story of Noah's Ark for yourself and look at God's remarkable rescue. Come back next time when we go back to the beginning. Have a great week. Bye.